Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to be building a redstone door that uses a item frame in order to gain access. Now we're going to be using an item frame like this and I'm going to show you what the, the redstone looks like in a moment. There's loads of it there. So, But first I should probably explain to you how the item frame redstone works. The door is just a standard piston door. But um, but if yeah, if I turn that to there, then it closes the door. And if I turn it all the way to the top, this side closes. But anyway, let me just show you. So here is a. It doesn't matter that there's a redstone torch in there. In fact, I can change that. Actually, no, I won't bother changing it. So this is a normal item frame um, and a bunch of lights. And what this is set up to do is to show you how this works. So here's the comparator. Um, when the when the item is at this angle, um, almost at the top but not quite, um, it's got the maximum strength, which, as you can see, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. Um, and then the repeater extends the signal, and then I use alternating redstone and repeaters to get back to here. Uh, this is not needed at all for anything other than to show this and it's as compact as I can get it so if I just go like this maybe yeah like that okay so there you go all the redstone's off one two three four five six seven there you go now if I go down to the bottom as you can see the redstone goes all the way over here and then all the way across to here and then down to here and it lights it all up now if you were building a lock you basically what you have to do um, to, to lock on the downward position you have to say that the signal is has got to travel all the way to this position and if it gets any further then it needs to uh, it needs to keep the door locked um, if the signal is any less, then the signal um, also does not, you know, it mustn't get, you know, any signal here should not go to the door. So, um, for example, if I show you the actual door, um, this door, it goes along here, and then if it's, this is the right point. This point here is where it says, right, this is the correct combination for this particular picture frame. So we're going to turn off here. Um, and then what it does is it inverts the signal and then the signal goes into the pistons So when the signal is high enough this goes out it retracts the pistons and the door opens um, And it's the same on the other side. I've got the I've got redstone here which runs into the pistons over here as well now If if I go past this point then what would this this line is still lit up so this should open the door but uh, what I've got is I've got a secondary line this one here in fact um, which comes off of all three of these it doesn't need to I can even get I can get rid of this completely I don't need any of that at all I only need this one here so this line extends across here it goes down here and what this basically does, uh, this little half slab trick, what it does is it, it allows you to bounce the um, the redstone up a, up a level. Um, and then this, this repeater goes into this line. Now if I just turn the door like this, you can see this goes into here. It turns this redstone lamp off, which opens the door. Now if I then turn this to here... As you can see, the redstone signal got to here. It was boosted. It went across here, down and under, back up again, and then back in here. And what this has done is it's relocked the door for me. Um, and that is basically it. That is all you have to do. Um, it occurs to me I don't actually need that bit up, but oh well. Okay, so that is it. Have a play around with it. Um, try out some different things there is a way using this setup uh, to have multiple 
picture frames and what you can do is you can have different combinations and as there are eight different positions that the torch can be in on on the actual picture frame you could have a let's say you had three picture frames all hooked into one door it'd be a lot of redstone but that's eight times eight times eight combinations um for the door so that's um that's 512 different possible combinations that's a lot okay so i hope you like this tutorial um if you did please like and subscribe don't forget to leave a comment in the description and keep an eye out for more tutorials i'll be trying to do two tutorials a week as well as my let's play series so keep an eye out for those thanks very much and goodbye Thank you.